This video is the 2023 edition of How to Build Darknet, Dark Help, and Dark Mark on Ubuntu Linux. I have several older videos showing similar things, but due to recent changes, I figured it was about time I recorded a new video. First thing I'm going to do is create a SRC, a source directory, for the software I'm going to download and build. Then look at the README to see what needs to be installed. There are instructions in the README for both Windows and Ubuntu Linux. In this video, I'll go through the Ubuntu Linux instructions. At the top of the instructions is links to the NVIDIA, CUDA, and CUDNN software. I've already installed these on this laptop, but let me show you quickly what I did. Click on the given links, select Linux, x86-64, Ubuntu, and then the version of Ubuntu you're running. From installer type, I then click on the Deb Network option. The required installation steps are shown below. Once CUDA or CUDA plus CUDNN are installed, follow the steps as described in the Darknet README file. Copy and paste the various dependencies. Then git clone the darknet source code from GitHub. Next, we create a folder in which we're going to build. However, see the important note about CMake. You need to be running a recent version of CMake. Running it from the command line, I see I have CMake version 3.22.1 installed. But if we look at the CMake list file for Darknet, we see the version 3.24 is required. If we try to use this older version of CMake, we'll run into an error telling us there's a problem. Solving this is quite simple. We'll use the snap version of CMake instead. Run these commands to remove the current one and install the newer one via snap. Now we can proceed with the build. When running CMake, it will output a number of useful things, such as the compiler it is using, the version of CUDA it has found, whether or not it found CUDNN, and the version of OpenCV it is using. The next command we need to run will build Darknet and create a full installation package that can be installed with the dpackage command. Now the Darknet is installed, next step is to build and install Dark Help. The GitHub repo's README has the instructions to build the installation package. The build steps are very similar to how Darknet was built. Once the package has been built, use the usual dpackage tool to install it. Lastly, Darkmark is built. Like Darknet and Dark Help, you start by installing the dependencies, creating a build directory, and using a combination of CMake and Make to create the installation package.
To test everything, I'm going to use a data set called Granada. You can find it on my website. It contains 101 images. When training a custom network, you need to annotate objects. Most people will annotate cars, people, or animals for their first projects. With the Granada project, I'll be annotating text objects. Remember that Darknet doesn't actually know about the objects. It is just a set of pixels. So if you annotate enough phone numbers, for example, then it can be used to find phone numbers in images, the same way that it can find birds in trees if that is what you annotate. I'm going to skip ahead here since I already have other videos showing how to use Darkmark. I've annotated about 30 images. Do a right mouse click and select the Darknet Files option. This will generate all of the necessary files to start training. Again, see my other videos. There are several where I go over the many options available on the screen. For this simple starter project, these are the options we're going to use. Three scripts are generated. Two are for getting all of the necessary files to and from a training rig. The third script is what you need to run to start the training. Let's skip ahead to where training has finished. At this point, I'm going to use the Dark Help CLI to load the neural network and run it against some of the files in the Granada dataset. As you can see, it is detecting all of the objects that were annotated. That's all there is to it. We've now installed Darknet, Dark Help, Darkmark. We've annotated our first data set, trained with the output from Darkmark, and we've checked to make sure the detection is working correctly. Please see my channel for additional information or come join us on the Darknet YOLO Discord server if you need help or if you want to discuss things. As usual, relevant links will be included in the video description.